they're talking to knowing that they are Toyota employees. Um, and then they're actually trying to make a division. Um, you always hear Toyota Camry together. They actually just want it to be the Camry, no longer the Toyota Camry. All right, I'm going to talk about the feature a little bit. Um, General Motors' first quarter sales dropped across the globe by a little bit less than 1%, while Toyota sales were up 2.7% during the same time period. Um, Toyota also sold 2.41 million vehicles, while GM sold 2.25 million vehicles in the first three months of the year. <clears throat> um, industry observers believe Wagner is laying the groundwork to close a couple of factories and send thousands of workers off to early retirement. This might help, but it only gets Wagner about halfway to where GM needs to be. Um, if he targets four of his 20 assembly plants, the company will be running fairly lean. <clears throat> David E. Cole, executor of cars, says GM could easily trim about 1 million cars or 20% of its capacity um, and still have enough to serve the market. GM could save $2 billion per year in the long run by buying out 20,000 workers and estimates by Sanford C. Bernstein and Co. and analyst Brian A. Johnson, but it would end up paying them $1.5 in severance cost. Uh, GM <coughs> managed to pull itself back from the bank, brink of bankruptcy in the early 90s with a strong lineup of pickups and SUVs and a huge lift from the economy. But uh, <coughs> GM's forecasts never really plan out or pan out. <coughs> the executives wrongly predicted a comeback in family sedans in the 80s and 90s. And as recently as last year, well, many, well, they, well more recently, it took, they took a pass on a hybrid slash hybrid gas cars, electric cars. Uh, they blew a chance to get a jump on the crossover SUV segment with the failed Pontiac Aztec. Uh, breakup or bankruptcy?